Hello everyone, my name is Liv and in today's video, you're with me. Farm Phil and Father Phil are off spreading and slurry for, well, to at least dinner time. You're with me for the day, but it's said film whatever I go up to all day. So we always start in the craft shed. But I heard a little ringing of bells and the goats have escaped. So first job is now put the goats back. Good morning, Percy. Bit of encouragement and they'll all come. So just going back out into the shrubbery. Now they're back where they're supposed to be for now. We'll see how long they stop there. Put the goats out yesterday and I said to Philip they'll be in the yard in the morning and here they are in the yard. So they figured out they can get under the gate and into the yard so I need to get a fence later. So first job is always calves. Um, so we'll have a look on the feeder and see who needs to be fed. Press this button. So this is a list of all the calves that have a right to drink. So we just go through them, make sure this guy actually lost his tag. He's got a button tag in, so it's a different number. We just go through them and double check if there's anyone that needs feeding. And if we find one, I'll explain how I know he needs feeding. So this guy here. So you can see the dark blue is what he's drank. The line is what he could have drank and the light blue is what he has to drink today. So this guy is actually one that I dehorned. Uh, you can see I dehorned him here on his 13th day. So I dehorned him, big strong car, ready to be done. Um, and then that evening after dehorned him, he was, came in the shed and he was lying flat out panting. I think he had a reaction to the anesthetic. Left him alone that day, um, just to sort of come to with himself. Um, that evening he was back feeding, but he's still not back feeding right, so he only drank two litres yesterday. But he is, he's always a big full belly, so I think he's eaten a lot of meal and a lot of hay. Um, but we'll find him, we'll put him in, and he'll probably drink a bit for me. Um, but yeah, everyone else is fine. Calves now are just starting to come down off milk, being weaned slowly. So we'll fill up with powder, and then we'll go find my guy. So that's three bags in the feeder this morning. We'll take another two this evening. So they're on about five bags of powder a day. So you see we added a few toys, which they do like playing with. So we just have a walk through. Um, find my guy that I dehorned that's a bit of the weather and just make sure there's no one else that needs attention. So this is one of the big guys on ad lib. So he can drink as much milk as he wants every day. Uh, some days he'll drink up to 15 litres and then the next day he might drop down to about 8 litres. So it just depends, he sort of self-regulates. Uh, Gizmo is chatting away. Where is my guy? So I see him here. So he's lying here, chewing his cud which is usually a good sign. So we'll just see. We'll bring him over to the feeder. And usually when I put him in, he'll drink. He just seems to not go in himself anymore. So I have him in the feeder now, and he's drinking. So you can see the number's going down as he drinks. Um, so I'm not really sure what's wrong with him. I'm just keeping an eye on him. Just seems to have got a bit slow and dopey. Everyone else is looking okay. We will fill up the trough some meal. So this is our own mixed meal that you would have seen them mix in the video last week, I think it was. Um, so they're eating it quite well in this shed now. shed also so there's 125 calves in here and we only had to feed one of them um, all the rest are feeding themselves um, the few that are in jackets 
might have seen them around about. Um, had a few with scour and a bit of temperature. Um, a couple with pneumonia with the mild weather last week, um, but nothing too serious. And um, they all bounced back pretty quickly. Um, so now it's time to go check the other shed. The second shed, or the new shed as we call it. Um, there is 70 calves in here now. Bit of a mix, small beefy ones in here. Um, Troy is actually here today. He's in the telly somewhere. Because um, we are just in the process of moving the rest of the bark mulch in. So that we can move gates and expand the pen. Um, I think we have another load of calves in tonight. Um, so a few more buckets of lunch to go in and then it all has to be levelled trying to leave a good thick bed um, of mulch which is like under these guys so let's see who needs feeding so we've a good few more to feed in the shed one two three five six seven eight to feed out of 78 which isn't quite as good as there's a few more than i would like and um, they're just not feeding as well as previous um not sure why um, so we'll find them and we'll put them there. Just need to get them a bucket of meal and fill up with powder. So we had eight to put in. There's two with a temperature, so they've both been injected. And a couple just not feeding as well as they should be, so just keep an eye on them. Um, Troy has filled up nicely with the mulch. So there's a few more buckets to come in. And then we'll be opening those gates and giving them the rest of that bit where the mulch is, so they'll have a lot more space. We might also, there's a drinker just outside the window there, might move that in. Um, I think some of the smaller calves can't reach it, so I'll bring that drink in as well later. Um, but for now, not too bad. Not too bad. It's now time to feed pigs. So these are listless. They're about 10 weeks now. Um, just get the bucket. These are the next biggest. And then in the new piggery, the fatness, big bruce, two gilts, and then two sows. Yes, bruce! So I'll feed the little list first. Second biggest. And then last is to feed in the piggery. All's a bit quiet now because we're all fed. Happy pigs, all they wanted was their breakfast. Um, so at this pen, these are all the fatness for the next week or so. Uh, probably send the biggest two off to the butchers. Uh, this is Bruce, this is the dad of Mar. Then these are the two gilts out of the ones on the end because they were just getting that bit older and we don't castrate any of our males. So I just want to split them up and we had the space. So. And then these are two sows. It's working really well. Uh, so they're lying on the lie back on the concrete and then pooing on the slats. A little bit's coming out the door. Um, but all in all, you can see, like, they're very clean, very happy. So there's no one in pig at the minute. Uh, just with quite a lot of pigs at the minute. We have sold a few, um, just in no rush. So in the next week or so when the girls back in heat we'll put one of them in with Bruce. Uh, Bruce will do his job. Um, yeah, we'll have more pigs then. Again, in two months to week. Fan is when the weather dries up, the two sows will go back out into the castle, back outside. Um, Bruce will probably stay inside for now. Um, but yeah, we'll try and get them out if we can. It's just too wet at the minute and the castle needs a break. So next up, We'll try and put the goats back in again. That's the pigs. We'll let the geese out for the day. So the goats have reappeared back in the yard. It didn't last long. Um, so I have a fence up here. I just need to go around the bottoms and get one of the solar fences. I'm hoping that if I put the goats back the other side, 
Put the fencer on, they should stay there. Secured. So this fence is down here because we had bulls down here, um, but the main fence wasn't working properly. So Philip had to take, this is actually the fence for the pigs. Um, this was put down here to just to power the fence around the bulls. Um, so we'll bring it back up and hopefully the goats will behave. Pigs are enjoying their breakfast. Spill all theirs. Big boys. Come on girls. Come on girls and gizmo. Come on. At least they do follow. And yes, the bells are, so when I can't find them, I can hear them. I to enlist Nelly to round them up. Come on, Nelly. Come on. So we'll just get them back the right side of the wire and then we'll put the fencer up. Come on. Come on. Come on, Gertrude. Straighten this fence up and put power in it. Fences on with good power in. Goats are back where they should be for now. So let's make a quick pit stop with Nelly to Leagues. Lee forgot to fill a diesel before he left. Um, it's one of those days. Lots of little jobs that get in the way of all the other little jobs. So I've dropped the diesel off of Lee. I'm just back. Came to check the goats. And they're behaving. Great job. So just come around the back of the shed. I'm just going to empty this drinker. Some of the bigger ones can reach it. This guy could reach it, but some of the little ones can't reach it, so we're gonna empty it out, disconnect it, bring the drink around, and connect it through. And all plumbed in, not leaking. Just take a while to fill. So that's the drink and move for the calves. Just want to push in now. They were fed, all the cattle were fed yesterday evening, so just need to push into them now and they'll be fed again this evening. Young bullocks as well, they're just on side at the minute until it's dry enough. Wait until we have grass for them to go out. So that's to be fenced. Um, so yeah, we'll put the camera on time lapse and push it. We'll push in too, so they have food. Um, so we'll go get some food for ourselves now. It's dinner time. And then we come back in, have to go check all the outside stock. And then I've got a bit of paperwork to do. And then it's back to feeding calves again. So we'll go find Troy, tell him it's dinner. I think he's just giving hay to the calves down here. So we'll go find him. So we have the gates all moved. So they're exploring. We'll bed this later when they get back from the spread and we'll get the straw blower on and we'll bed it up with straw. Troy's just gone to get hay. He's hanging the meal trough back up. Um, yeah, there's loads more space. Just back from doing a few inside jobs and um, go around now to check all the cattle. So I want to bring a bucket of meal with me with the seven autumn calves out on the bridge. Um, so just bringing them a bit of meal every day. So we get a bucket of meal and we'll go see how they are. Now there's the autumn boy and boys having the meal. So there's seven of them out here. They were out in the, um, we bought the plastic hutch out for them but we found it was just making them dirtier. Um, so they're on a fresh strip of the multi-species now and um, seem to be eating it. So happy out. So we're going to the next batch now, which is a batch of bulls coming out for them and I think they might need moving. So, so the bulls are all coming there, they heard the gator, um, definitely ready for a move. So coming onto this one, we're gonna eat this one just for the day because it's really small. And then I think Philip wants them to go and eat whatever's on the territory field, which isn't much, just tidy it up. Um, so yeah, we'll just go around, check the fences up, then we'll let them in. And let them through. And out they go. That's them happy out. So we'll get at least till tomorrow out of that. Maybe a day in a bit. They're happy out now. So next stop is to check the cattle that are out on the top field on the rape 
So we'll go up and check that. Back at home now, up on the top field where the rape is. Uh, it's a bit windy actually. So it didn't obviously grow that well, um, but with the lack of grass, it was decided that we need to make the most of it. Um, so there's a batch of 40 young bulls up here uh, on the rape, and they've also got the beet as well, but they're not too interested in that. There's a lot of grass in between and around the edges. Some of it is starting to flower. So there's a few flowers which are poisonous, we know that. Um, but the consensus was, and what Google said was, we're not going to graze them too tight, don't leave them, the only thing to eat. Um, and they are mostly in grass than the rape, so they're um, quite happy. You can see him there is eating the grass in between rather than the rape. Nick Charlotte is very happy out here. Very content. That's all the cattle outside, present and correct. Um, so back home now, make sure the goats have stayed where they're supposed to have stayed. Um, the lads should only be finished spreading. Head home, a few bits of paperwork and stuff to do inside. And then around six o'clock-ish, back out to the calves in the shed, check if everyone's okay, if everyone's fed. And that's it, wrapped up for the evening. So we'll go see how the goats have stayed put. Well, they had all stayed put, and then Gertrude's just figured out that she can jump over. Come on, Gertrude! Might have to lift that a little bit. Um, so they were being well behaved. So anyone that doesn't know, this is Gizmo. He's the Billy. We bought him end of last year, I think. So they're all boa goats. Uh, the ginger, this one. Gwen, this one, and Grace are all pedigree. And then this one is Gertrude. She's crossed with something, I'm not quite sure, but she's definitely, she's a different build than the others. For now, they've just been pets. We bought them originally for weed control, so they are very good. They'll eat all the docks and brambles and ivy. If they're not fussy, they'll eat anything. Um, but now we've got Gizmo. Hopefully he has some of them in kid. And if he was successful, they will be kidding in May. Um, so hopefully we'll have baby goats in May. <laughs> so it's that time in the evening again. We're back in the calf shed. Nice quiet shed, which is usually a good sign. So just go through the feed, or through the screen, and see if anyone needs feed. To find to feed, I've got it on my hand. So the first one is one with horned, and the other one is a calf who doesn't usually need feeding. Um, so we'll see if we can find them. So I found the calf, he's this one here, black guy, who's asleep. Um, does seem a little bit off form, so we'll check his temperature. His ears are a bit down. Um, we'll check his temperature, I say he probably does have a temperature, so we'll check it and inject him. He's coughing a bit too. So we'll see if we'll drink first. So he's drinking away there, he's counting down. So we'll let him drink. As much as you want to and then we'll give them an injection. Fill up with powder again. Fill it up. So I keep them going till the morning. And we'll just top up the troughs of meal now. I've always been a small town girl. Injected that one calf just to keep them right. Um, everyone else is up in voice. Sorry, we're going to set it by a small bit, so we'll see how things go. On to it. Back in the new shed. Straight in, looking at the screen, it's telling me to check the detergent. Probably means it's empty, so we'll have a look. So, yeah, the red detergent, which is the acid, is empty, or very nearly empty. So, we'll just fill it up. Put the light back in. the feed now and see who we need to feed. So we have one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine calves on the list need to feed, which is a few more than I'd like really. Um, not sure why, so we'll check them. They're just calves that haven't fed well yesterday and also have only fed once today. Um, maybe it's because we gave them the big new area and they spent an afternoon up there and forgot to come feed. Um, and we put hay in too, so maybe they've had a bit of hay and filled up. 
um, but we'll just go through and find them. So here's my first guy to feed, 4687, nice Hereford. Now he's one of my usuals now, so just walk him over. Some of them just turn into pets. Um, they just associate you with being seen. So this guy, probably, yeah, he's following me to the feed now. Come on, he'll follow me. Let me just put him in. Come on, in. Just him picked off. And actually one of the ones that was on my list is already in. I took them off too. This heifer that we injected this morning is having a drink, which is good. Try and get her to drink as much as possible. Um, she's not 100% keen. So we'll just stand with her while she drinks. The new feeder also has the liquid doser, which is here. So I've just hot that up. Hello everybody. Farmer Phil is back in the house, in the cow shed after spreading slurry all day off tankers and getting ready to do another job tomorrow spreading slurry off tankers so yeah i see Liv has had a busy day and um i've been busy too haven't i Liv? no Liv doesn't think spreading slurry is busy it's not you just sit down yeah but i'm busy spread 109,000 gallons today no. you haul it no that's it day over inside now well i'm gonna go put on a plow and start doing stuff but lives day is over and the time has changed and it's bright at half eight it's quite surreal it's gonna take a uh, six months for me to go over the time changing videos every tuesday thursday and sunday that's it from me good luck